This is food photography. And when you do that in a foreign country, it's always good to bring something local in. And what's more local than the daily newspaper? So, and we can do it in different ways. The food, the glasses. Mm. I'm Fred, I do photography here on YouTube and today my mom is visiting me all the way from Denmark to Mexico and she does food photography. So today we're going to show you how to take better food pictures. Hey, I'm Susie. When you're out doing food photography uh, on the street or in a restaurant, you have no control about uh, how the dish look and the, the table and the background. I'll give you some tips in how to take control and get the best out of uh, what you have to work with. All right, now we'll go and get breakfast. And the idea in this video is just, I'm going to take you through every meal we get from breakfast to lunch all the way to dinner. I hope you enjoy it. And a good night. <laughs> <laughs> this is first spot on our list. It's a breakfast place called Ojo de Agua. Here we got this beautiful bowl of fresh food and it looks very nice. But we can easily spoil that by, take, by taking the wrong background. Oh, yeah, you really see. This is no good. That's not how to do it. What is the focus on this ball? Well, that's the top. It's not the size of it. That's not focus. Then we'll do like this and see, and we'll take this phone away. Some of the focus should be in this corner. Sometimes it takes a little while to get it right. So these eggs over there might be cold. You see, we got this space here where there's nothing, but that could be okay. And if you take the ball, yes, in, in your left. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Exactly. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. We talked about uh, uh, getting focus on uh, a ball of fruit. You do it from the, from the top. But in this case, you can actually take it to like 90 degrees because we do like eating. And this is too dominated, so I'll just turn it a little bit around. And I like the yellow stuff with it like this. Then this one uh, is going into, so I'll just move this one a little bit like that. Can you uh, take a little bit over to my side? Thank you. Next up, cake. What cake are we going for? You know what? I would actually like this one, but you cannot put this one on Instagram. <laughs> so I need this one. Yes. That's the cake we're going for. We cannot use this table because uh, yellow wood is just the worst. So uh, let's take to go. Another nice thing about ordering our food to go is that we can use the natural light instead of the weird light that were in the baker. I'm not sure what she's doing. It's hard, Camille. Para te? Para te. Perfecto. When you take photos to Instagram, you cannot use this. So you always have to be prepared. So in my bag, I always have different plates. I usually have one in bamboos as well. But have different plates with you. And some napkins and a spoon, fork. I'm also prepared if we go somewhere nice. This is, then we have this one. And we have some silver thing, but that's of course not for street photographer. You see, they don't take much space and they do wonders for your photos. A solid colored shirt is always a good thing to wear because then you always uh, can use it as a good background. We are in Mexico, so I think I'll take this one.
And this is why we never get warm food at home. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> okay, I have a question, mom. What are typical mistakes that you see people make when they post photos of their food? If I pick one, the worst, the absolutely worst thing is that when the, when the lines not are straight, yeah. I call it that. If you have a horizon and it's tipping. Like here, if you want to take a picture of me and the building and, uh, and this one have to be straight. Yeah. And it's so easy, the iPhone does it almost by itself. Are, so. are there anything else people do wrong that you think? When you do food photography, it's important that you keep the color cold not too warm, not too yellow. So you go in the editing and you take a bit more blue on because otherwise it gets too yellow. The important thing in food photography, I think, is to stay focused on who has the, the lead role and, and stay focused on that one. We have a tendency to uh, wanna, want it all on the photo, but then we end up with actually having nothing. As a tourist, I would definitely take a picture of the taco stand in Mexico. But as a food photographer, I would go much closer and I'll try to get the atmosphere, the steam, and so you can almost smell it and you can, you can hear it and you can taste the food. Before I ordered these tacos, I asked the taco guy if we can get two tacos with extra steam because that's what makes the photo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Finalmente. Yeah, finally. Dos horas. Que pedo. <laughs> Hola, buen día. Yes. And by the way, whenever you go around with your phone or with your camera, make sure the lens is clean. Otherwise, you'll get really blurry photos and your camera wouldn't know how to actually focus. Now we're in an ice cream shop, one of the oldest here in Mexico City. And we want to go here and photograph some ice cream and show the importance of a great photo background. And it's not only in food styling you need a great background. In the street photography I do, I think the thing that has ruined most photos for me has been a messy background. My mom is a food stylist and a cookbook author. And when she wanted to take the pictures for her cookbook, she didn't have the photo background she needed. So she went to her atelier and painted her own photo backgrounds. After painting these photo backgrounds on a big canvas, my mom made a printed collection of the photo backgrounds that are much easier to travel with and work with. And those are the ones we're using right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what to do? Jesus. Mm. This is for you? All right. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Good or what? That took a lot longer time than we expected. <laughs> Look at this brown apple. <laughs> yeah, it turned different color. All right, let's go and have some nachos. I don't know what to say. This is probably, this is the worst nacho I've ever seen. <laughs> I wanted to order nachos so you can see how difficult nacho uh, is because it's so easy to take uh, food photography pictures when it's blueberry and strawberry, but nacho are difficult. But this challenge here is like, <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know if I can do that. You can't, because the... I mean, I, I, the, the, this, is, this is just not... I'm not sure what we should do right here. The idea here was that we take this, we, we photograph this <laughs> from the top, from the side, and then we had this good photo where we can like drag the cheese up. This is like... There's no way you can do make this interesting. This video will never end. Take it away. Take it away. 
<laughs> okay, we found another place, a nice beer garden that hopefully has some burgers that are more photogenic than the nachos. <laughs> okay, here is a burger and now it's the opposite of the breakfast where we had this ball with all the fruit that we took from, from the top and down. Now we're going to make it to the side, but that takes a little work. Which sides are the most pretty? No, no. That's better. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> they were nice. They were so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild city. All right, now we're at a we're in downtown in Mexico City at this nice restaurant. They make Asian cuisine, and yeah, whoa! <laughs> and this is where we're gonna eat. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Here we got this lovely rice and curry. But if we want to take a good photo, I mean, uh, it doesn't work with yellow food on a yellow table. It all melts together. So we need to have some contrast. We could borrow a little bit from his plate like this, but still, I mean, it's a little bit better, but I think we need another background. Instead of this one, we got our own. This is why you need photo backgrounds. Buenas noches. Hola. <laughs> Buenas noches. It's nine o'clock now, and we have taken food photography in Mexico City for 12 hours now. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like the photo backgrounds we used in the videos, make sure to check out photostylingbackgrounds.com and follow my mom on Instagram. Is there anything that we need to make sure to have said before we end the video? Actually, there is one thing. We have been very focused on the food, but uh, I also like uh, pictures of uh, the atmosphere and uh, that we haven't got. But I have a photo I can make, maybe show you here somewhere where you get the, the atmosphere. So you, so you think, I just want to sit at that table. No matter what they're eating, I want to be a part of that. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe, like and all of these things. Until next week.